Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to attach our ring doorbell to our Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So you might want to attach your ring doorbell to your Fire TV cube or stick so that when somebody rings the doorbell, the picture comes up as a picture in picture on your screen. Or it could well be that you occasionally want to go in and check the camera on your TV screen or you might want it permanently up on your TV screen, who knows? But this guide is gonna show you how you can quickly and easily do that. So a few things you're gonna to need to start with. You're gonna need your ring doorbell already set up. You're gonna need your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube, and you're gonna need a iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet. Just something that you can load the Alexa app onto. So that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to install the Alexa app. So if you've already got it installed, you can ignore this part. So I'm going to do it on my iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the app store. So I'm just going to swipe down and I'm going to type in there app space store. And then you'll see app store come up, tap that. OK, and what we want to do is we want to tap search in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then clear out anything that's in the bar at the top and just type in there Alexa. OK, and hopefully it should come up Alexa app. So let's just tap on Alexa app and then we're looking for this up here in the top right hand corner. That is the light blue Amazon Alexa. So tap get or open if you've already got it installed or if you've had it installed in the past, tap on the little cloud. So I haven't had it before, so I've got to get up here. So I'm going to tap get. And now it's going to ask me to touch to install or it might ask for your passcode, whatever it asks you to do then do it. It might ask for your Apple password. It might ask for nothing. And there we go. It's accepted my fingerprint. Like I say, it will vary from device to device. So you might find that if you've got an Android device, then it doesn't ask for anything at all. It just installs. So again, this bit might take a bit of time. It really just depends on the speed of your internet connection. It is quite a large app. And there we go. Once it's downloaded and installed, we can open it. So I'm just going to tap open. Now it's asking me, Alexa would like to use Bluetooth. So I'm I'm going to say OK to that. And it's also asking me to sign in with my Amazon account. This is the Amazon account that's set up on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. It can't be a different one. So, OK, so I've done that. I've had to blur it out, but I've done that. I've typed in my Amazon username and Amazon password. The same answer it's registered to my Fire TV stick or cube. And I'm just going to tap sign in. OK, so I'm going to agree to the terms of use and I'm going to hit continue on here. And it says, do you want to set up a device? So at the moment, I'm going to say no to this. I'm just going to tap no because some of you might already have this Alexa app set up. So we're going to go through it the same way with, with everybody and setting this up. So I'm just going to tap no, OK, and I'm going to skip the, uh, the guide. You can go through this if you want. So it's just asking what's my name. And this is the, the name of the profile that I use on the Fire Stick. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tap Chris and it wants me to type in my surname. So let's just do that. And then I'm going to agree and continue. It's asking me um, to check how Alexa's going to say my name. So I'm just going to skip this bit at the moment. And it's asking me to set up voice ID. Again, I'm going to skip this. There's a skip at the top of the screen there. So yes, skip, not really important at the moment. So it says your profile's ready, set up what you care about. So set up my features, let's just tap that. Allow access to your contacts. I'm just going to click continue there. And I'm going to say don't allow because I don't want Alexa accessing my contacts, so I'm going to, but it's entirely up to you. Verify my details, it's asking for a telephone number, I'm gonna skip that. Allow notifications later, okay, and it's, it's asking me if I wanna add extra profiles to my family, so I'm gonna set that up later. Okay, and tap done. It's asking me about my interests now, I'm just gonna skip this again for the time being. And then I'm going to tap go to home. Ah, right, we're there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap more in the bottom right hand corner. And then I'm going to tap skills and games just on the left near the middle of the screen there. And I'm going to tap the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to search for the skill called ring. So once I've done that, I'm going to tap on the return button, the blue return button. And I'm going to select the light blue ring 
skill there I'm just going to tap that and then i'm going to tap enable to use and there you go it says enabling skill and it says we want to link your ring and amazon accounts together as well so i'm going to tap enable skill and link accounts and it's asking me to sign in again with my amazon account details this is the amazon account that's registered with my fire tv stick or cube so i'm just going to do that okay so i've just typed in my username and my password and i'm going to tap sign in and now it's asking me to type in my ring username and password so let's just do that there we go done that so i'm going to tap sign in and i've got two-factor authentication set up so i've just got to type in my two-factor authentication code okay so done that i'm just going to tap sign in and now it's asking us whether we want to authorize my amazon account or alexa so i'm going to say yes i'm going to tap authorize and there we go it confirms your ring account has been successfully linked so i'm going to tap next so it's looking for devices to connect to it says this can take up to 45 seconds so there we are it says one ring camera found and connected so I'm just going to tap set up device and it's asking us where the camera is located. OK, so I'm going to tap outside and just uh, go to add to group. We can skip that if we want. There you go. Front door added to outside. So tap continue. Front door is set up and ready to use. So once the devices screen loads, then tap on all devices there at the top. Tap on front door the, or the thing with the camera beside it and then go to announcements and turn on doorbell press announcements and then scroll down and make sure that enabled is switched on as well like mine is at the bottom there you could put on turn on motion announcements but it basically means every time something moves outside you'll get a, uh, a a notification pop up on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube and interrupt what you're doing. And really, you probably don't want that. Let's uh, just leave that off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the Fire TV stick or the Fire TV cube and uh, I'm going to press the doorbell. So there we go, as you can see, I've pushed it and up in the top right hand corner of the screen there, there we go, we've got a, uh, a picture of, of my front door and it's got some suggestions at the bottom on what you can do to get it to go to full screen. So it says, try, if you've got a fire stick, then you can press the blue button on the remote and say these commands that are coming up at the bottom. It says, press the home button if you want further options. So I'm just gonna try that. So it's press and hold the home button until the screen goes to the middle. And then we've got options here. We can go to full screen like so. We've got mic disabled down there. So I'm not sure, I don't think we can actually talk back to them, but we can see them certainly. If you found a way of talking back, then uh, then please let me know. But there we go, a great way of linking your ring doorbell to your Fire TV stick. As I say there, you can also minimize the uh, picture in picture just by highlighting minimize P to PIP, press the middle button and there you go. It. Uh, goes back small again. If you wanna close it, then press and hold the home button until it goes to the middle, and then go across to the cross just there, close PIP, and then middle button on the remote control. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, why not stick around at my YouTube channel? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.